Hello everyone, it's me again, Little Dinosaur Explores. Surely you are no stranger to the character Perry the Platypus, the breakout star of the Disney animated series Phineas and Ferb. So what about duck-billed dinosaurs? Have you ever seen them? If not, let's discover the truth behind this interesting name. If you already know, please comment to let everyone know. Let's go! The term duck-billed dinosaur is a colloquial name often used to refer to a group of herbivorous dinosaurs known as hadrosaurs. These dinosaurs belong to the family Hadrosauridae and were characterized by their distinctive flattened, duck-like bills, which they used to efficiently crop vegetation. Hadrosaurs were among the most common and widespread dinosaurs of the late Cretaceous period. Living in various habitats across North America, Europe, Asia, and Antarctica. They ranged in size from small to large, with some species reaching lengths of up to 12 meters, 40 feet, or more. They were quadrupedal dinosaurs with powerful hind limbs and hoof-like claws, which allowed them to move swiftly on both land and water. In addition to their unique bills, duck-billed dinosaurs had other notable features, including a toothless beak at the front of the mouth, with rows of tightly packed teeth further back in the jaw. This dental arrangement, known as a dental battery, helped them efficiently chew and process plant material. Bipedal locomotion, meaning they walked onto legs, although they were also capable of moving on all fours. Some species had elaborate cranial crests, which varied in shape and size between species, and likely played roles in communication and display. One of the most famous duck-billed dinosaurs is Parasaurolophus. Known for its elaborate crest on the top of its head, which may have been used for communication or display. Other notable members of the Hadrosaur family include Edmondosaurus, Myasaura, and Corythosaurus. Duck-billed dinosaurs played an important ecological role as herbivores, shaping the vegetation of their habitats and serving as prey for large predators such as Tyrannosaurus rex. Fossil evidence suggests that some hadrosaurs may have lived in herds and migrated seasonally in search of food and suitable nesting sites. Thank you for accompanying me on my journey of discovery today. See you again in the next videos. Bye-bye.